All right, welcome back to Grappling with Insanity. Uh, the end of 2022 coming up in here, and I got the Grappling Smarty 2.0. Had him for a while now. I've been doing a few videos with him. Things that are different with the Grappling Smarty 2.0. Legs are a little bit longer. Uh, the dummy has a thumb, so you can get uh, a little more representation of where the you know direction the arm is in, where the arm is. You know, you do your arm bars that way. Um, the dummy has a little more shape to its head. You can see it's not not just a big kind of teardrop. It has the actual chin. Next little thing, the back. Um, it's been working on its lat pull downs or its pull ups. It's got a little bit more of a V shape. The waist is a little more tapered, so it's easier to to do um, back control stuff. But what I'm going to show you today is I'm going to show you three different toe holds, all right? First toe hold, I'm gonna show you two toe holds, I'm gonna show you from um, from like a half guard or a Z guard, all right? So the first one is a real basic one. A lot of people do this one right off the bat and they'll be locked down in Z guard, they'll be trying to pass, maybe they have their foot on the leg and they're in this kind of, they don't quite have headquarters in here. This guy keeps, because they don't have a good elbow to knee connection, so this guy keeps sneaking the leg back in. So then what you can do from here is usually I'm grabbing in here, grab back to grab the toes, and then reach up and grab this toe hold. Push it into the butt, right? The toe hold is you're gonna be grabbing the tops of the toes, right? You're gonna grab the top of the toe, create just like a, kind of like a Kimura, and you're gonna reach over the leg, through the leg, the hole and grab your own wrist right so you're making a, a figure four now you can do it with your thumb you can remove the thumb if you need to if that bothers your wrist you can remove that thumb and you're going to take the hand that dives uh, over the over the leg and through the hole and grab your like your wristwatch area this one's grabbing the toes and you're pushing it right into the butt and this this affects the ankle right so again, maybe you're in the Z guard, you know, you get up into this headquarters position, but they drive the leg back in. So you're sitting in this position, you put your hand back, grab the top of their toes, and you dive over and grab, grab this in here. Now sometimes what they do um, is they'll invert and roll out of that. There are people who will take this move once they grab the leg, they jump over the shoulder, they roll over their left shoulder, and as they do, they, they hook this leg, they come through in here, boom, and now they have this toe hold in here. <clears throat> but again, you can just do that real basic one from a Z guard. Right. Z guard again, in here, maybe you go for headquarters, they slide that, you don't have good connection, they slide the leg back through, you have the toes, and you go for this one. Maybe they kick this one out. All right, now we can go to our second one. Maybe they push your leg off, and now you're back in this half guard. What I like to do for half guard um, is I like to go into what I call, like a Marcelo kind of position, Marcelo Gar uh, Garcia, um, is I like to go into that reverse half guard, right? And the way that looks is, as I get into here, I kind of shoot my arm up to the side, and then I drop my hip into this pocket between his his elbow and his leg. And I trap his hips, right? And from here, uh, what you usually do is I'll grab onto this, this hip so they can't kick me off or anything. Typically what happens is then they figure four, they figure four their leg like this to keep this leg trapped in here from me passing. Because if they leave it open, then they just do a big back step and then I drive back into them going to side control, pass the guard. So they're preventing me from passing the guard. All right. <clears throat> what you can do from here is you can tack another toe hold. Right. So from here, what I'll typically do is walk my foot up close to their butt. Right. And if I can only get so far, I grab my leg and I pull it up. Right. So I have knee pants on, I just grab my pants. I want to get my foot close to their rear end, right? 
come here, I don't want to just come and take my hand and try to push this off. Because if I do this, I create this big opening for them to use their hand and hook. And they get behind my back, and then what they do is kind of a, um, a roll over my shoulder, and they take, we end up kind of in a reversal. So what I want to do from here, get my foot up. I'm going to bring my elbow in tight, my body, and I'm going to push it off this shelf. The leg right now is on the shelf, and it goes over, right? Now from here, you can go, you can go into your uh, three-quarter mount if you want, or you can try this toe hold, right? Once you get this leg off, a lot of times they'll switch, you know, and they'll go into another kind of pre preventing their feet from opening. From here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my outside hand here, and I'm going to dive over the leg, just like we're doing that, that hook. We're going to catch it in here. This hand's going to grab the toes. This hand's going to grab my wrist watch, right? So if I'm in here, this foot goes down. As I'm rolling, I shoot it under, grab the toes, kick my legs out, and then I bend it to the butt, right? That's it. So this is why you're in that reverse half guard. Right? So you can get that from here, reverse half guard. And if you got your trapped in here, you shoot up, you come in this reverse half. Right? And you want to make sure you walk their arms up so they can't um, reach around your head, pull you back. Walk your foot up, off the shelf. Then from here, you're going to rock, dive. I caught the, caught the leg here, catch the toes. So <clears throat> the third one comes from a mount. All right. And let's do it this way. So, it's going to come from a kipping motion. Some people call it dolphin. Dolphin escape. So, I want to get my both my hands on the other, uh, on the side, same sides of his hip, or on his pelvis, right, his hip hip flexor area. From here, I'm going to bring my feet in, and then what I'm going to do is. I'm going to push up with my hips. I'm not pushing with my arms. I'm pushing with my hips. And now I'm pushing with my arms. So when I come down, he's above me. Right? You see, he's hovered above me. And if you need to, you can do that jack hammer motion to get him like this. Right? From here, I'm going to bring my, my knee up the middle. And I'm going to tilt him to the side. Right? This hand's coming back to catch the calf. My outside foot is diving in for an ashi. Now here you can slide back if you can do heel hooks. Here's where you do your heel hook. If you can't do your heel hooks, you can always get in. I mean, if you can get a reap, I mean, even grappling industry does reaps. You can come in here and do this kind of Z-lock. You know, you push this down over the leg or if they're standing up still, but sometimes they are, they're here, you can reach back and get this to hold. One more time. So the kipping gets you out of mount, which is really nice. I'm here, knee up the middle, grab the leg, 